Hey guys, welcome back to Jibber Jab Reviews and my new tips and tricks series for the Galaxy Watch 3. Now in this series, I'm going to show you some of my favorite features on the Galaxy Watch 3, which you may not be aware of, but hey, they still provide you with a lot of great options for both customizing the look and the use of the watch. So without further ado, let's jump right into this week's topic, which is customizing your home key. All right, guys, let me first start off by saying that this tip is going to allow you to affect the functions you want to launch by pressing your home button, which is the button at the bottom of your device in either a double tap or a long tap configuration. Now to set your launch features, you need to first launch your settings menu. From here, you're going to scroll down to the advanced section. And then from here, you're going to select the home key option. From here, you're going to have two options to customize, one affecting the double pressing on the home button, and then the other one revolves pressing and holding the home button down until the feature you want launches. Okay, so let's start with the double press feature. And from here, you're going to be able to scroll through a multitude of options as to what you actually want to launch from app selections to fitness functions, gallery, messages, music, etc. So depending on how many apps you already have loaded on your watch, you're going to have at least two dozen or more options to select from. Now for this video, I'm going to select the large watch option because I thought this was a pretty cool feature. And I know that some of you do have difficulty viewing the details of watch faces so you'll probably love having this one right at your fingertips okay now once you're done you can exit out of these menus to get back to your loaded watch face display now you can try the double tap method to launch that large watch face and you can see it certainly is both simple and easy to read but you know what if it's still not big enough for you then there's actually added functionality in this watch face and that you can zoom into any one of those selections on the display such as showing just the hour or the minute digits the power remaining or simply the date and all with a double tap and then hitting the home button again is going to allow you to exit out of the space and return you to the original one that's loaded on your display. Okay, now let's go back into that home key menu option again. And this time we're going to select the press and hold option. In this case, you only have two selections available. One is which is to launch Bixby, while the other one is to turn off your device. Now I'm going to select the power off this time because I find it easier than using the other methods that you have as a default with one requiring you to swipe down on your display to turn off your device or you have to press and hold the two buttons at the same time. By setting it directly to my home button, I save at least one extra tap or having to use two fingers to enable the power off feature. Also, I next to never ever launch Bixby, so it makes more sense to have my power off feature there as I do power down my device at night. Okay guys, that's my tip for customizing your home key. I hope you guys found it useful and I'll continue to share some small tricks and tips like this with you guys for future episodes. Thanks again for watching. Please continue to take care of yourselves and I'll see you all in our next video. Thanks again for watching our review and if you liked it then show us some love with a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends because with your support it really helps me keep the channel going so I can continue to offer you guys discounts, giveaways and of course fresh content. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.